so let's dive in and we'll see, we'll see what we got. The, the farm uh, theater headed by um, Patrick Willis, um, the brainchild of it, its mission is to uh, take what you might categorize as emerging artists, artists that have, uh, they take their work seriously. So artists could be a playwright, it could be an actor, it could be an ensemble, a group together, a young company. Um, and they're working to push through to uh, a, a higher level. So because he is a baseball fan, and I mean he is a fan, um, the Yankees particularly, he uh, is modeling after the, the minor league farm to major league and how you prep uh, serious baseball players into the major league. And I was, I was a little afraid to work on this subject, you know, it brought up a lot of stuff for me, but I just wanted to have a better conversation, and I wanted to engage people at a, at a just more meaningful level, and to be able to dialogue with people that are in this environment and have them contribute to that conversation was also super meaningful, because then we're all benefiting. You know, I'm growing as an artist, I'm growing as a human being, and I'm assuming the same is happening to my collaborators that are in the school. Tim is here. Oh. When you come into a community, are, are they good or are they bad? Yes? Help, help, help. And she, nobody was helping her. What if that had happened to me? It wouldn't happen to you. What? So, and you can either judge him or try and figure out why he didn't react. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me a lot of acting one. <laughs> one. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. You have to be crying or whatever it is. So once that happens, just sit in the chair and we go and let go of it. <sighs> Can I have you read? We're looking at combinations, how how people work, and we're also looking at how uh, it tells the story. You know, a character. Are you? Uh, are, are they within the the type and within the frame of what we're looking for? Most people who leave, they'll come back. Imagine it. Grounded, 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 grounded. Jenny, 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 and the boys. Uh, now, okay, I had no idea that there would even be a possibility of me being in the play. I've always loved theater, but it didn't seem like a time to insert myself into a project like this. Mm -hmm. So on the day that we started doing auditions for the principal characters, Scott asked me if I would read for Fei Fei, and what I heard when he said that was, hey, person with a voice I don't care about, can you please read opposite this person? I do want to actually audition for a part, which was Ray for Dylan, and that way I wouldn't distract him from Ray's ability to play Dylan. And then apparently Victoria fell in love with me when I read it the first time, and it's been sealed ever since, but I, I did not anticipate getting a role, especially not a role like this one. I feel really connected to the character more than I thought I would, so I don't have to do a lot of prep to get into a Fei Fei sort of mindset. I sort of just take Scott's notes to redirect what I'm already thinking, because the things that, not everything that she says, but a lot of the things that she says align with how I think I would feel in certain situations. I think having personal experiences with sexual assault, I had a lot of perceptions already on the subject, but being in Fei Fei's position where I am sort of a witness but don't really realize that I'm a witness right away and I have the opportunity to reach out and I don't really reach out, it shows how complicated these situations can be when you're trying to evaluate your 
like, allegiance to your friends, but also to your gender and to people that could have been you. So what, it, what is the safe distance? That's, that's what we call it in stage combat. So, here, mm -hmm. yeah. See, like, so. safe distance. It is a lab, um, it's a study, and it's also, a, it is the real, you're researching and studying and developing something that isn't just for the sake of that, to learn something, yes. But this project is working to have a life outside of, uh, of here. And there's the actors, the performers, the designers, the researchers, all of that. And then the community that comes to see it has an input. So, <laughs> um, For shows like this, when you have actors bring their own clothes, you can't really do renderings or like accurate descriptions of like, co like with costume plots and things that we call pull bill buys. So the formatting, the paperwork is different, and the whole overall process of how you go at it is different, because you kind of have to design the characters around what those people wear. And like your personalities. Mm -hmm. So I can tell you got that from Goodwill. I did get it from Goodwill. I know it's still there. Shh, don't like look at it. Don't look at me. It adds a little bit of the act, the actors' own personal twist in it, because I like to work with them and like kind of like guide them in the right direction of making the right clothing choices, yeah, so they feel like they have a creative power. hand in it too, which is like really nice because like, like a typical mean, stage show or I musical, I would be making adventures. literally every single decision, but with a show like this, the actors can have a say in what they look like. So I have my idea of what it's going to be like, and that's like one or two dimensional. And then to be here, it becomes fleshed out completely in such a meaningful way because I get to actually meet the people, you know, and how it's affecting them personally. Um, and just, just meet the human beings that are bringing their life to this play, and then this experience is going to inform them in some way to the rest of their life. Like hear her laughing at some of the stuff we were doing. It's like, oh god, I'm doing it right. Thank God. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Well, it was just extremely rewarding um, to see everyone so seriously engaged in a meaningful way in the material, intellectually, emotionally, um, personally engaged in the material. I mean, that's what you hope for, um, because then everyone's operating at such a high level that you can really just answer questions, explore things, and then um, put that into the work. It's turned out to be here at University of West Florida, the fact that it's been, it's an honors class seminar, right? So, and then there's people from different departments all working on a play, they're not all theater majors, right? They're not all whatever. And so, one, you have different groups of people coming together and working together on a project, which I think is valuable. And then we're talking about a subject in a really meaningful and deep way and so you're learning, um, you know, uh, a variety of skills that can be used in the business environment, um, and developing confidence, developing communication, um, critical thinking, um, creativity, thinking out of the box, being comfortable with uncertainty as you move forward towards a goal. And Coming together as a community is a lot more than protecting yourself as an individual because you'll be protected as an individual if you put faith in a community that's actually operating in your best interest.